The next parameter we'll examine is end overhang, or dimension B. This dimension is called toe overhang for J lead and gull wing components. For chip components, any part of the termination extending beyond the land is a defect. That's because you want the best possible connection with the land. We are not concerned with toe overhang for J lead components, as long as the solder joint meets all of the other dimensional criteria and does not violate minimum electrical clearance between adjacent components or exposed circuit traces, then this condition would be acceptable. Toe overhang for gull wing leads that have a long foot length is allowed, as long as the overhang does not violate minimum electrical clearance. A long foot length is when the foot, or dimension L, is greater than three lead widths, or dimension W. If the gull wing lead has a short foot length, where dimension L is less than three lead widths, any amount of toe overhang then becomes a defect. Toe overhang is also not permitted for Class III BTCs. Now let's look at end joint width, or dimension C. The width of a chip component solder joint at its narrowest point must be at least three quarters of the width of the component termination, or 75% of the width of the land, whichever is less. The width of a J lead, gull wing, or BTC solder joint at its narrowest point also needs to be at least 75% of the lead or termination width. Of the specific components we are studying in this video, side joint length, or dimension D, only relates to J lead and gull wing components. The side joint length of the J lead solder joint at its narrowest point should be a minimum of one and one half times, or 150% of the width of the lead. Let's look at gull wing side joint length. If there is a long foot length, meaning that L is equal to or greater than three lead widths, the side joint length should be a minimum of three lead widths, or 75% of the foot length, whichever is longer. If there is a short foot length, meaning that L is less than three lead widths, the minimum side joint length needs to be 100% of the foot length. Our next parameter is fillet height, which is specified by dimensions E and F. These dimensions are called heel fillet height for J-lead and gull wing components. For chip components, the solder may overhang the land and extend onto the top of the termination, but should never touch the component body. For dimension F, the minimum fillet height should extend at least 25% of the height of the component termination, or 0.5 millimeters.